Whether you're studying enzyme inhibitors for a lecture exam or a big test like the MCAT, there are a few things that you have to memorize and I'm going to give you mnemonics for all of those in this video. The first is you've got to know what the line weaver burke plots look like for each enzyme inhibitor. For competitive, I remember that it looks like two lightsabers crossing. For uncompetitive, the line shifts up. And so I remember uncompetitive up. For non-competitive, I think non-KM-competitive, meaning my KM does not move. So my X-intercept stays the same. Another way you can memorize it is that if you take a line and you draw it like this, and it kind of makes the graph look like a capital N. You also need to know where they bind, meaning are they binding at the active site or is the inhibitor binding allosterically like it is here? For competitive, think the inhibitor competes with the active site, so it binds at the active site. For uncompetitive, I think uno competitive, meaning it only binds one location, and that location is the enzyme substrate complex. For non competitive, I think no preference, meaning it binds both the enzyme and the enzyme substrate complex with equal affinity. This is it binding the enzyme, this is it binding the enzyme substrate complex. And lastly, you want to think about the effects on KM. For competitive inhibitors, I think KM competitive inhibitors, KM increases. For uncompetitive, I think under KM competitive, meaning my KM actually goes down. And for non competitive, again, I think non KM competitive, meaning my KM does not move. There is no change. I hope these mnemonics help you memorize this chart. If you got some value from this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your support, and I will see you in the next one.